to Europe. Three young Europeans who are here with us today, the three winners today, each receive an interrail pass so that they can make many more pictures in all corners of our continent. And we want many more young Europeans to have this opportunity. And therefore, in our next multi-annual financial program, in our next multi-annual European budget, we reserve 700 million euros for interrail passes for people of 18 years old. But for now, we are not yet there. For now, this is still an exclusive prize. It's a greatly deserved prize for three wonderful photos. Three photos of social Europe that, in the words of the famous photographer Robert Frank, truly capture the humanity of the moment. Many congratulations to all participants, specifically congratulations to the three winners. I think we can now yeah. hand out the prizes. Of course. I'm in your hands again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Let's applause your impressive speech. Of course, through photos, we speak very straight to everybody and we will praise the next winners now. But we will need for a good presentation of the winners, we need the jury. And we have two members of the jury together and I will invite here with us. Um, let me ask uh, the representative of U-Forum, Frederic Picave, to join us. The board member of U-Forum, the Flemish Youth Council from Belgium, Frederic Picave. And, and Roxana Pop, hello, freelance photo and visual storytelling person. So, we have the jury, we have the proper light to have good photos, and now let's see and let's introduce uh, this story. I will ask you, uh, Frederic, in the opening to, to say a few words about this competition. Please, you have the floor. Hi, everybody. So I am Frederick of the European Youth Forum, and I, uh, I am very much like you. I'm, I'm a young European. I've been on Erasmus. I've, uh, I've been critical about Europe, and uh, I'm now a board member of the European Youth Forum, which is an organization that is representing the voices of all young people, all young people throughout Europe. So I had, uh, I had the honor uh, to be in the jury of, of this photo competition, and. Uh, we faced a really difficult challenge because we had 1,200 entries. Uh, think about it, look to your left, to your right. We are 300 people here, 1,200, it's, it's four times that much. It was quite, quite hard. So we first of all had a, had a, a long list of, of pictures uh, that were really uh, quality. And uh, then starting from that, we had a jury talk with uh, people from the Commission who had the policy view who uh, took on and, and thought about what is social Europe. And I want, to th I want to ask this question to you as well. What for you is a social Europe? For some people it's, it's decent housing, for other people it's a quality job, it's good education, um, it's maybe also friendship in life. So starting from this, uh, from this point we thought about what is social Europe and then we uh, looked, take a look at, at all those pictures and I from my from my side, I, I was thinking about also the fact that this kind of competition, we also, also should look to the fact that it, it's, a, it's a youth view, so the young perspective should be in there. And we also had a, had a photographer, Roxana, who uh, had the view of, of a photographer. So we had 1,200 entries, so we then selected uh, 50 pictures, and then we went to a shortlist of 15 pictures. And then, from that moment, we had uh, quite a lot of discussions, uh, really. It was, uh, it was not that easy. It's, uh, it's incredible how, how diverse Europe is and uh, what a kaleidoscope of, of, of things we saw, about what the social Europe is. And then we had a big discussion, and then we finally had our three pictures. And what exactly made those pictures so good? I think that is something that uh, Roxana will tell you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Frederic. And now I will invite Roxana Pop, our photo expert from the jury. She is coming from Cluj-Napoca. It's a beautiful city. Most of the Europeans appreciate the quality of life. That's why it's in the uh, top of uh, the people who want to live in Cluj-Napoca. But we are here in Sibiu, another beautiful city. And you have the floor. Thank you. And yes, I'm 
I'm very happy to be here, and I am very happy that I was part of this jury, that I could see as a photographer what other people uh, show through photography. Photography is a very powerful tool to tell stories, and um, as a photographer, I can say what I learned in school. So in school, we learned that a good photograph, it's based on a combination between composition, between light and between moment. And I think that the photographs we chose, you know, the three of them, they all have these elements, light, moment, and composition. Uh, but I know this sounds a bit technical, but I, I think that when these elements come together, um, they manage to send out a message and they manage to uh, give emotion to the viewer. And besides the fact that um, you have to have a good photograph, it's always the story behind it. Uh, I have a photojournalism background and I love to see the stories behind the photos. And the photos that we chose, the three photos, the three winner photos, uh, they tell stories about overcoming struggle and disability, about caring for each other, and about um, knowledge, right? The access to knowledge. So I think these are all very important values to ourselves, and they are very important values to the humankind. Thank you. Thank you, Roxana. <clears throat> so I use my fingerprint to, to open the envelope of the winning list. Uh, because it's a digital one, of course. And now I will uh, announce the winners, and of course I will ask them to join us on the stage because the Commissioner Tyson will uh, make uh, the ceremony of awarding uh, closer to reality. And now, please welcome Beatriz Pereira from Portugal. So, congratulations. Also, let me invite here Mate Lajanski from Hungary. Hello, Mate. Okay. Okay. Welcome. And Maria Giner Soler from Spain. I prepared one quite difficult, very difficult question for each of you because I, I love Europe, but I also, also love photography. And I wanted to ask you, which is the secret of a good photography when you want to take a part of Europe in a picture? So, for my social Europe, um, is about recognition, informal care, and is very spontaneous because it is in my home, my home. And uh, this is the time and place to discuss this subject. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Love is patient. It's your photo. Um, Mate, learn anywhere, anytime. This is a good message for the youth generation, but also for old guys like me. What did you mean when you t took this picture? I think very important to have the basic right for everyone to have a, a high quality education. And my photo is about, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, how old are you or what your skin color, you have the right to learn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now we go to Maria, son and mother very beautiful picture, which was your message here? Yes, the title is very <laughs> simple, description, no, it's the mother and the son, and it's about inclusion of people with disabilities. And in this case, uh, the son, uh, Jaime, has a rare disease without diagnostic, so really nobody knows what, uh, what kind of illness he had. And uh, so the, the goal is, uh, is to, to try to, to find um, more invest in, in to discover this kind of uh, new illness and uh, that uh, the material that they need for the, their daily life 
like uh, chairs to move and to do everything uh, is very, very, very expensive. So no, usually normal family can't uh, pay for the things that they need. So yeah, this is a personal project that I spend with the different families one day uh, to know who is their, yes, their lifestyle. And so I'm very happy, and the family too, they are very happy that you select this photo. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And now, of course, you deserve an award. And with the help of Commissioner Tyson, you will receive your awards. Maybe you have some uh, music to be played during this, please. Please come here for a group photo and let's not forget uh, we have other colleagues that want to take pictures behind. Europe it's about people and social Europe it's obvious about people. Congratulations for the winners, congratulations for a very good job Commissioner Tyson and thank you all for, uh, for being here. If you want to have also a picture together with all the participants, just to, yeah, okay. So I will kindly ask you also the winners and the jury and the commissioner to join here in the first row because the photographers uh, might uh, have a photo with all the participants. Okay, all the happy faces. Um, maybe if, if you'd like to stand up, your voice can be better heard in a photography if you stand up. As I told you, the day is not finished because the best is yet to come. It will happen in just a few minutes. At 6 o'clock, we will start the Citizens Dialogue. It's one of the most important because in the last two years, we had in Europe at least 1,200 dialogues with European citizens. But this one, it's the most important because we will have here both President Juncker, the President of European Commission, and President Klaus Johannes. President of Romania, the country that it's having for the first time the presidency of the Council of the European Union. So feel free to ask questions. Uh, we will have probably one hour to spend with the two presidents. I will speak less than I previously did in the ceremonies. So I will let you uh, be heard and uh, you will have the opportunity to ask questions to the presidents. I strongly advise you again to use the translation devices. Most of you probably are speaking at least 